one of the fundamental aspect of marine navigation is to be aware of exact location of ship to address this requirement we need to obtain fix using celestial objects terrestrial objects radio and satellite signals on the nautical charts well paper charts had long and successful history and it is expected that electronic charts will almost entirely replace the use of paper charts in few years so there is a very basic difference between a map and nautical chart the nautical charts are special purpose maps designed for safe navigation and issued officially by government hydrographic departments the requirement for carriage of nautical charts are laid in solas chapter 5 safety of navigation regulation 2 defines nautical charts now let us discuss what is electronic chart well this can be described simply as a display of geographical related information on the electronic screen such as flat panel earlier the nautical chart Uh, was used on paper now it could be displayed on a flat screen so this is a, any digitized chart intended for display on a computerized navigation system well basically there will be two kinds of technique so the first kind of charts are raster charts so these are normally scanned paper charts or scanned material from which the chart is compiled it is called raster from television oriented technology originally meaning a picture made up of line the raster chart data is a digitized picture of a chart comprised of pixels all data is in one layer and one format since this chart data is just the scan copy of existing image it is termed as dump chart with limited interactivity now let's come to the second type and that is the vector charts these are digitized charts where chart data is organized in rectangular cells defined by two meridians and two parallels the use technology is much sophisticated and chart object understands who i am and where i am the name vector comes from computer drawing and games development software where objects need to be defined and scenes can be displayed from a particular viewpoint this capability allows user to choose the information as required for example more detailed information concerning a boy which may not be normally displayed is made easily accessible to the user by simply aligning the cursor with the boy and clicking the appropriate button now we come to a very interesting term unofficial and official chart data a number of private companies have developed their own digital chart data this data is called unofficial some examples of unofficial charts are c map transas navionics whereas unofficial raster charts are map text map media both raster and vector charts when published on the authority of hydrographic department are termed official so if somebody is doing in a private way they are unofficial but if they are published through hydrographic department they become official chart the international hydrographic department coordinates the activity of national hydrographic departments official charts are termed as electronic navigation charts whereas official raster charts are termed as raster navigational charts rnc for example ukho united kingdom hydrographic office deals with admiralty vector chart services avcs and admiralty raster chart services arcs admiralty digital catalog adc provides the details of charts and publications so electronic chart display system is a general term for all electronic equipment that is capable of displaying vessel's position 
on an electronic chart that is image on a screen. As the technology has evolved, it has become quite a cheaper to display large data on a flat panel screen. There are two categories of electronic chart display system. The first is ECDIS, Electronic Chart Display Information System, which meets IMO SOLAS chart carriage requirement. The second is an ECS, Electronic Chart System, which can be used to assess navigation but does not meet IMO SOLAS chart carriage requirement. Let's talk some more about ECS, that is Electronic Chart System. Well, this is specified in ISO 19379 as navigation information system which electronically displays vessel position and relevant nautical chart data and information from an ECS database on a display screen but does not meet all the IMO requirements of EGDIS and it is not intended to satisfy the SOLAS Chapter 5 requirements to carry a navigational chart. Now, let's come to the ECDIS, Electronic Chart Display and Information System. An amendment to SOLAS Chapter 5, Safety of Navigation Regulation 19, Carriage Requirements of for Shipborne Navigation System and Equipment requires mandatory carriage of EGDIS for certain types of ships. A simplified EGDIS implementation timeline will be shown later. According to the IMO's performance standard stated in MSC Resolution 23282, this is a navigation information system. It has adequate backup arrangement. It can be accepted as complying with up-to-date chart required by the regulation 519 and 527 of the 1974 SOLAS Convention as amended. Regulation 519 specifies the equipment to be carried and backup arrangement, whereas Regulation 527 specifies the requirement to keep the charts and publication up to date. It displays selected information from a system electronic navigation chart as SANG. this displays positional information from navigation sensors, assists the Mariner in route planning and route monitoring displays additional navigation related information. An official EGDIS consists of type approved system using official hydrographic data, chart information and the entire installation must be approved by the vessel's flag administration. 